January 6th, The Truth, The Lies, Jacob Chansley, a.k.a. The Shaman, Ray Epps. These are the pictures you've seen of January 6th. They're familiar because they've been playing on a loop on every media outlet in America for the last two years. There's a reason for that. But it turns out there's quite a bit of video you haven't seen. And that video tells a very different story about what happened on January 6th. Tucker Carlson sits down and talks. I'm Jazz Bergonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. Jazz Bergonzo, What's Next? Your daily dose, as always. Facts, common sense, and salt. Well, one Tucker Carlson, Fox News' Tucker Carlson, has been having a field day in regards to the release of the January 6th tapes. But of course, the left has been losing their minds, you know, clutching pearls, rectums clinching, because they say, Tucker has put a nice, you know, a nice little dress up, a nice little flowery and, 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 and rainbows and, and what have you in regards to January 6th, you know, making it look like a tour guide when insurrection occurred. Well, sorry. But that's not the case. But Tucker, in his own words, talks about the truth, the lies of January 6th in regards to the tapes. Jacob Chansley, a.k.a. The Shaman, and of course, Ray Epps. Let's take a look. This comes out of Gateway Pundit. Ray Epps clearly was working for somebody at the core claims that January 6th were a lie. Tucker Carlson discusses the truth about January 6th files with Clayton Morris of Redacted. Tucker Carlson met with former fellow host at Fox News, Clayton Morse, on his online show, Redacted. In this interview that was released Saturday, they discussed many things, including the January 6th tapes and all that has transpired before and since then. Tucker Carlson at one time hosted the Fox News and Friends weekend with Clayton Morse and Abby Huntsman. Tucker eventually went on to do his own cable show at Fox News that is top rated on television. Uh, Abby Huntsman left Fox to become a host at The View a toxic far-left morning show, and Morse started his own podcast, Redacted. His guest this week was Tucker Carlson. The two discussed January 6th protests, media lies from that day, and of course, there you have them there. <clears throat> At the 28-minute mark below, Tucker started really getting into the J6 files. He shared that his team asked for the files. Speaker McCarthy, who Tucker has never been a fan of, provided the files. For the record, he said, I've been highly, highly critical of Kevin McCarthy. He's had, he has roasted his ass on a number of occasions. Of the relevant footage, we're not aware. I don't think there is anyone who could have manipulated it. The two things I know is no one got in our way. We ran all our clips by Capitol Police before putting it on TV. Only in one case, they said, we don't want you to show the details of this door. Not of the people, just a particular door. Don't know what that door is, but interesting i thought the whole thing was ridiculous this security risk bullshit the main problem we have is that we didn't have facial recognition software so i'm uh, so i'm allowing for we missed stuff i'm sure we missed a lot of stuff we did our best and we spent a long time doing it but what we couldn't do which is the main thing i wanted to do is to show that there were fbi agents in the crowd and there were the fbi admitted to it but it's obvious to me they played a pivotal role ray epps clearly working for somebody He's not a pure villain. He encouraged violence. And then the January 6th committee, Adam Kinzinger, Liz Cheney, Benny Thompson, <clears throat> Adam Schiff for brains. They all defended them as their friend. He's not an insurrectionist. He's an ally. How do you explain that? It violates common sense. The Ray Epps thing is an organic. Sorry. The court claims about January 6th were a lie. It's not a violent insurrection, a deadly insurrection. It's a violent political demonstration, a riot, if you will on one of many a year that took place from January 20th to January 21. Yeah, remember that uh, summer of love? Just saying. Clearly Nancy Pelosi wanted this to happen. Anything you're not allowed to ask questions about is something you should ask more questions about. I'm a friend and I'm a Ukraine stance and, and when, you, when, you call out, when you call out the bullshit and show the propaganda and you, you, you share that information, you get, you get blocked. Uh, I don't know if they've softened their position or not, but that's that's the way it's been. That's crazy. I mean, but I guess the difference is I work for a you know a huge publicly held company, 
and there are certainly downsides to that, but one upside is it doesn't matter what YouTube thinks. But if you're an independent broadcaster making your own journalism and you've got, you know, in your case, three children, and you know, like a life, right. this is your job, that's really scary. That's yeah. really scary. And that's how they've been silencing voices. You know, that's what they've been doing, taking down these small channels. They've been doing that. Uh, we saw that on Twitter, right? We saw what was happening on Twitter. So the Twitter files revealed exactly this collusion. Um, I do want to talk about January 6th. So the January 6th footage, when Kevin McCarthy came to you and your team about going through this footage, did he ever, we're talking about caveats and conditions, what you just talked about with Fox. Did, did Kevin McCarthy come to you with any sort of caveats or conditions? Chuck Schumer has said, you know, that Tucker's been cherry picking things. He wants to show on the show, which is laughable, of course, because in my opinion, we got to see already cherry picked coverage during the January 6th hearing. So it's pretty hilarious and hypocritical to me. But anyway, your response to these cherry picking comments and were there sort of any conditions about here, we're gonna hand over 44,000 hours of footage what was your thought on that? I mean, knowing you, like, holy, holy shit, what? We're going to look at 44,000 hours of footage? Well, we've been pushing for it since the first week. You know, one of my children was in the building when that happened. Wow. So one of my kids works at the Congress and called me. I was getting my hair cut. Ashley Babbitt had just been shot. He heard the gunshots because um, he was right there. Uh, I mean, as an employee, not as a as a protester, right. to be clear. But wow. um, so I had been interested in it. Of course, I'm from Washington, so I, wow. I had been interested in it. And since the first week, I had said, we should, you know, let's find out what really happened. Everyone's characterizing it. And my instinct as a journalist, but also as a person, is let's know more. And they never turned it over. And for the record, I had been highly, highly critical of, of McCarthy, of Kevin McCarthy, uh, you know, for the last... I don't know, ever since I've been on TV, I've been critical of, of McCarthy. So um, we're not friends, for sure. Why did he give it to my show? Probably because I asked. I think we're the only people who asked. I mean, maybe there were others. I'm not aware of anyone else who asked. We asked. And here's the process in one sentence. We sent a bunch of producers up to Capitol Hill. They were. Uh, they came with a bunch of different stories they were interested in. They got a computer system. You, you the use of the capital computer system, which allowed them to pull up separate rooms by you know location and time. They did not have facial recognition software, unfortunately, but they had this system which allowed you know what was happening in the speaker's lobby at this hour, and they watched all the tape, many many hours, and uh, and of the forty one thousand, you know, a huge percentage, the majority, you know, the capital complex is enormous. It includes the Library of Congress. There are security cameras in you know closets. You know, a lot of this stuff was just empty rooms. But of the but relevant, relevant footage, footage we're, we're not, not aware, aware, and trust me, we spent a lot of time trying to trying figure to out if they're being manipulated, manipulated here. here. I don't think I don't there's think any way they could have manipulated it. It, it, it is definitely is possible that we didn't find relevant, relevant footage, footage, for sure. sure. That's, That's always, always possible. possible. But, the but the two things, things I, know I know are no one got in our way, including the Capitol Police, who later denounced us. We ran all of our footage by Capitol Police before putting it on TV and said, just to be clear, you, you are, are saying, saying this could be a security, security risk. risk. Is it a security, security risk? risk? And only in one case, he said, we don't want you to show the details of this door. So we blurred the door. The, that, the, the Jacob, Jacob Chansley video. video. Yeah, that blurred section of the Jacob Chansley. Exactly yes. right. And I announced that on the air. That's the only change we made, but we vetted this. Not because I thought it was a security risk. It's a public building that has tours through it every day. I thought the whole thing was ridiculous. So this is security risk bullshit. But... I went along with it anyway, just to say that we did. Okay, so we could never be accused of putting anyone's life at risk. Absurd as that claim is. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make this a two-part video, only because this is going on a little longer than I thought it would be, and I wanted you to get the full context. So this is part one of Tucker Carlson sitting down uh, with Redacted. And uh, in part two, I am going to um, show a little bit more of the interview and also another story from Gateway Pundit in regards to Ray Epps, which, of course, Tucker just mentioned. So um, we're going to end that here for now. I'm Jazz Berganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you on part two. Peace.